Stairs and Railings, Stair by Sketch. So here we have the basement. We're going to be drawing our stairs going up. Now, where are our stairs? So that's the first big thing. The number one thing that you really should do is define the area of where your stairs are going to be, and it's good to do that using reference planes. So let's start with the main floor plan because we have the walls lined up there. So just double click on main floor plan. So there's the floor, there's the hole for the stairs. Let's go to architecture and then let's go over here to reference plane. So what I'm doing with the reference planes here is I'm actually extending it beyond a little bit. And that's okay. And I can just extend this beyond and then I click and then I extend it beyond and then I click and extend it beyond. Now let's go to our basement. Okay, so now we can see where that stair is going to go. Okay, so we're going to start our stair by sketch. So under the architecture tab, under circulation, you'll notice that there's a button here called stair. We're going to just click on that little down arrow. Notice you have stair by component and then you have stair by sketch. Let's go with stair by sketch to begin with. And what you're going to do here is draw a sketch of your stair. With stairs, you're starting at the bottom and then you're going up. That's why I went to the basement floor. You're drawing from the bottom going up. What kind of stair are we using? We have a couple choices. There's a monolithic stair and then there's this one which is a 7 inch max riser, 11 inch tread. It's more of a steel pan stair. Okay, you'll also notice here that it has a base level, so that's where it's going from at the bottom, and then where it's going to at the top. And you can offset those if you need to. And so what it's going to do is make up a calculation based upon your heights and your desired riser height. So if I go over here to desired number of risers, this is automatically calculated. If I was to say 10, it's not going to let me. Okay, so if I cancel that out. If I say 30, it let me. How about if I say 50? Okay, so you got to be a little careful with this. It looks like we're fitting in with the minimum, but it's telling me what my actual riser height is, and 2 inches or even 3 inches not going to cut it. So let's just go back to 21. We can set the width to be 4 feet in this case. And you can do other things like do you want an up label arrow, down label an arrow. What else here? What about the actual tread depth? We're going to leave all of that stuff alone. The only thing I changed here was the width to 4 feet. Now, how do we set it to be 7 inch max? Well, if you go over here to edit type, click on edit type, we could duplicate this and we could make a new stair type if we wanted to. Call it stair 1. And in here, you'll find there's your tread, but it's a minimum tread depth. And then notice here, maximum riser height. We could maybe set that up a little higher if we wanted to, 7.5 inches. We'll just say OK to that. Now notice, we just gained a riser. The actual height is going to be that. Okay, so what I want to do is I actually want to use this 7-inch Max Riser 11 tread. And what we're going to do is start sketching. So what you're going to be doing with sketch mode is you're going to be drawing a run, and you start from the center. And that really can cause some problems because where is the center? And sometimes what you need to do is actually draw some lines offset. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to start to get an idea of our stair. So I'm going to click right there. I'm going to go up to about there because I want to leave this part here for a landing. Okay, and then I'll go over to this side. I'm just zooming in and click here. And then I can click all the way back here. You'll notice that in gray, it's saying 21 rises created, zero remaining. And then if I step back, See how it says 16, 5 remaining? So it's calculating it for you. Okay, and then once I'm done, I can just click it, and it has drawn all the risers needed. When we're done with that, we can click on the Finish Edit Mode, and it is going to model a staircase based upon that sketch that you just drew. If I just go to our 3D view, we're going to go to Shift, Middle Click, and just pan that around and then zoom in. You'll notice there it is. Now, it looks like we're going to need a landing at the top of this, so we'll have to address that. Okay, we can also click on the stair, and now I'm just going to do a shift middle click, and I can spin around it, and you can see how it's been done. 